This is James from Warrior Network. And in this video, we're going to answer a question from a blog reader who asks, James, hi, James, I've read about a body weight set point. Is there any truth to such an existing thing? And will it have any effects on losing weight and being able to keep it off? So the answer to this question is, is that your body has a set point of being healthy. It wants to be healthy. It wants to maintain a normal level of body fat okay it does not want to be fat of a fat wobbly mess it does not want to be continuously bombarded with poisonous toxins and copious amounts of sugar and glucose which is not required your body is designed to maintain a state of equilibrium that is correct and the best way that you can help it do that is by allowing your body to burn off all of the excess fat now, from my own personal experience, what I have found is that when you get to a lean point where, where you are lean, you could be classed as a lean warrior. So essentially, you are, you're not fat and your stomach is, is pretty much flat, yeah, and you're feeling good and you are healthy. That, at that point, your body is going to kind of stay at that point. And the way that it maintains that set point is by controlling your hunger levels. So you can do the research into this, but there's certain hormones that will be released when the body is hungry and also certain hormones that will be released when the body is not hungry. And by following the Warrior Network protocol, you won't need to worry about set points and, and what the body's set point is or any of that stuff. All you need to worry about is listening to your body and it will tell you when you need to eat yeah, and how much you need to eat because some days you will feel that you just don't need to eat so much and you should follow that. Yeah, unless you are in, in some kind of a, maybe you're a bodybuilder and you're a competitive bodybuilder and you have to get a certain amount of food in to stimulate a certain amount of muscle growth, then obviously that's different. But for the average person, you listen to your body based on hunger and it will tell you. Okay, now if you have followed the Wire Network protocol of fasting and you've maybe done the 72 hour fast, but then the 48 hour fast, and now you're on a one eating per day regime, yeah? then you will learn to listen to your body. Your body will tell you, okay? So you just don't feel like eating your normal amount of food. And that probably means is that you're in a calorie excess. So you don't need to be eating extra food. You don't need to be eating so much food. And you will learn to be able to follow your hunger, okay? And that will dictate to you how much food you should be eating. And you can also, of course, weigh yourself. You can weigh yourself if you want to really keep tabs on this, then weigh yourself when you wake up. Yeah, weigh yourself at the same time every day. Yeah, and that way you can also see if, if your weight's going up consistently, then you're eating too much food. You're, 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 you're gaining fat. Unless you're deliberately trying to put on muscle, then that's a different story. But if you're just the average person who is trying to lose weight, then if you're gaining fat, you're gaining weight, obviously, and your weight is going to consistently go up. If you are gaining muscle, yeah, you'll be able to see it in the mirror. If you're, if you're gaining too much fat instead of the muscle, then you'll also be able to see that in the mirror as well. So take photographs, yeah, and use that as your guide, and use the mirror as your guide, and use the scale as your guide, and most importantly, use how you feel as a guide. OK, so the body will adjust. The body can adjust its metabolism upwards or downwards, depending on how much food is going in. So, yes, there is some kind of set point, but it's to maintain survival. It's to maintain the optimum levels of energy within the body that is required for optimal functioning. OK, if you're a fat fucking hog beast, then, you know, and you're fat, you know, it's no good using the excuse that, oh, my body has, has, has set this at its set point. Your body, if you could actually have an honest conversation with it, would be saying to you, please, can you stop putting all of this disgusting shit into me? Can you please start fasting, as the Warrior Network Protocol says to, and let me lose all of this disgusting fucking body, lag, body fat, okay? And then you will be able to start to go forward to getting healthier and leaner, yeah? So that is really how it works. Listen to your body, get yourself lean, do the fast, the 48-hour fast, the 72-hour fast, and longer if you can, to get lean and healthy as quickly as possible. And then what you do, with all of that excess body fat off, yeah, you can maintain a healthy weight by exercising every day, walking every day, maybe doing muscle resistance exercise every day, okay? It doesn't need to be balls to the wall, but you can do something every single day. 
There's no reason not to. Eat one meal per day unless you are specifically trying to build muscle, in which case you may benefit from having a longer eating window of maybe six hours or maybe even seven or eight hours. Maybe you can just have some protein and then you can have some carbohydrates around your workout maybe. And then you can still have your main feeding at the end of the day. Yeah, which is what I'm doing currently. And it's working very, very well. So that's the answer to the question. Talk to you on the next video.